in the year 2627-28 vijana walijiunga kundi haramu kiongozi yao akawatuma for forceful circumcision of our women wakanajisi watoto wa kike wakaweka kodi kwa hardware wakaweka kodi kwa stage wakaanza kufanya tax collection in Kenya ikaenea nobody could sleep ukisema ngwe wanasema utakuwa kuja kuchukua kichwa yako kweli ya mwongo and it cost fear especially in this region and Rift Valley now the dark secret truth about the return of mungiki is finally revealed and i want you to listen very keenly to my Nanjenga's real cousin who happens to be a pastor giving a strong warning about Mungiki. Menejenga is my cousin, is my former colleague in Mungiki, but I want just to ask him, tone down. Our Ke Kenya needs everybody. We need all of us, we need each other. We will not fight. Don't kill. Don't ever do something that might cause chaos to be in this country. This is a country that cannot afford to sleep backward or to just fall into the traps of the devil wale ambao mnaizungumzia Kenya kwa ubaya nawauliza tu hii ni nchi yetu nchi ambayo sisi wote we are children of it we must not speak against bad things about Kenya ill things about Kenya whether you like the president or not this we belong to Kenya he also belongs to Kenya so when you go to your ex account you will probably come across this trending hashtag uhuru kenyata revives mungiki could this be true let us find out Based on this particular newspaper article it says that the Mount Kenya region legislatures claim that Mungiki is back in full swing ladies and gentlemen Mungiki is an extremely dangerous group and i will play for you a short video clip of the deputy president Rigathi Gashagwa himself explaining to us in details what Mungiki did to the Kikuyus themselves men and women but yesterday i did a critical analysis about Mainanjenga Of course Maina Njenga is the former Mungiki leader and I said that there must be someone a politician behind the reemergence of Maina Njenga's politics in the larger Mount Kenya region and I highly suspect that Maina Njenga's recent politics in the larger Mount Kenya region is actually the main reason as to why Mungiki is back in full swing therefore in my considered opinion Maina Njenga must be stopped immediately but the biggest question here is who exactly is this person behind Maina Njenga and what political objective does this person want to achieve by sponsoring Maina Njenga's politics in the larger Mount Kenya region and especially ahead of the 2027 general elections so let me explain to you in details first of all it is now very crystal clear that the people of the larger Mount Kenya region the Kikuyus majority of them don't support Maina Njenga majority of the kikuyus are rejecting maina njenga to become their kingpin a position which maina njenga is so interested in but unfortunately the people who are supporting maina njenga to be the mount kenya region kingpin majority of them are azimio supporters and leaders from another region reason being that baba amesema so i want to ask these people that please let us be fair here Don't force the Kikuyus with someone they don't want simply because Raila Odinga and Uhuru Kenyatta is supporting that person. Uhuru Kenyatta was the former president and also a national leader. But I did not see Uhuru Kenyatta anywhere dictating to a certain particular region who to become their kingpin. President William Ruto is currently a leader, the president of the Republic of Kenya, the commander in chief. But I've not seen anywhere William Ruto appointing a kingpin for a particular region including the larger Mount Kenya region despite the huge support that William Ruto enjoys in the larger Mount Kenya region. But also I'm 100% sure that Rigathi Gachagua the deputy president will not allow the return of Mungiki in the larger Mount Kenya region. And I strongly believe that Rigathi Gachagua has the potential has that ability capability of fighting Mungiki to the core 
So let us wait and see how things will turn out to be. Let us wait and see the political game plan of Mena Jenga and the return of Mungiki ahead of the 2027 general elections. So I want to play for you this short video clip of the deputy president, Rigadi Shagwa, explaining to us about this dangerous group called Mungiki and what exactly did Mungiki do to the Kikuyus from the larger Mount Kenya region, men and women. But before I play for you that short video clip, just a quick reminder that in case you are listening to me up to this point, yet you haven't subscribed, I'm requesting you to please just take a second or two and subscribe to this channel. You can also give this video a like. Now, if you do that, YouTube will automatically recommend this channel and this video to reach out to others so that we can grow our audience. To my returning subscribers, I also want to appreciate you so much for your continued support. Without that support, this channel cannot be where it is currently. You can also activate the notification bell down below. Now, let me explain to you a little bit about the importance of pressing that notification bell and activating the notification bell. It is because every time or immediately I post a video on this channel, you will never miss out any video that I post here because it will automatically update you through the notifications automatically from YouTube itself. Having said that, now just listen to this clip, then we proceed. Mutu wasi tuambie ati nivijana ni ajami yetu. Hawa wakina mama walifanyiwa hiyo vitadobaya ni wajami gani? Eh? Ni wajami gani? Hawa watu ya matatu walilazimishwa kutoa kodi ni wajami gani? How are us chana walibaku, how are chana wadogo ni wajami gani? Are you telling us that because criminals come from our community, waharibu wa mama wetu tukiona? Let nobody tell us, Your Excellency, na mimi niko tiari, if there is any political price to be paid to protect these women and our young girls, kama kura itakwasakana kwa sababu ya hiyo, avadhali kai. We cannot. Hatuwezi, hatuwezi kubali. And I want to ask our young people, tafadhali vijana wetu, musi kubali kutumika vibaya. Muende mukachukue kuhodi kwa watu ya matatu kupelekea mutu wa jege manyumba. Musi kubali kuambiwa muende muka, muka subwe wakina mama ambaye walizaa nyinyi. Muafanyie vitendo ya kinyama ambaye hawezekani katika kane hii ya, 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 ya dunia hii yetu. So we are saying, Your Excellency, we want to thank our security teams in Central Kenya and in the Rift Valley for their swift action in the last three months. That hiyo maneno imesimamishwa, sasa watu wanafanya biashara, watu wana, matatu wanafanya kazi yao, and that is what will continue to happen. And we will never allow anybody to intimidate us na kujificha kwa jamii yetu. Jamii yetu is not jamii ya criminals and will never protect a criminal at kwa sababu wewe unatoka hapa. So it turns out that Uhuru Kenyatta and Raila Odinga are so keen on sponsoring Mainanjenga's politics in the larger Mount Kenya region ahead of the 2027 general elections. But the biggest question here is why do you think they are doing this? What is the main reason behind all this? What is the secret mission? What is the secret political mission behind Uhuru Kenyatta and Raila Odinga sponsoring Mainanjenga's politics in the larger Mount Kenya region? So in my considered opinion, number one, it is because of the political instability. Let me say it here again and again that it turns out that the same people who have been sponsoring chaos, violence, demonstrations across the country are the same same people here behind Mainanjenga. Therefore, they want to cause the political instability in the country just to sabotage William Ruto's leadership. You know, where there is no peace, there is no development. And that is why Raila Dingo was speaking, threatening to lead the demonstrations again in the year 2024. Because they don't want William Ruto to develop this country, to achieve his major political objective, and the development agenda. So let us wait and see how things will turn out to be. But basically, the people of the larger Mount Kenya region, our brothers and sisters, if Mungiki will return, 
if Mainanjenga will lead the politics of the larger Mount Kenya region, there will be no peace. Our friends, our brothers and sisters from the larger Mount Kenya region, the business people, will have such a challenge in that region. Businesses will stall. Number two, I strongly believe that Uhuru Kenyatta and Raila Odinga are sponsoring Mainanjenga's politics in the larger Mount Kenya region simply because of that fear of Rigadi Gashagwa's recent political moves. And I said this point yesterday in my yesterday's video. If you have been observing Rigadi Gashagwa's recent political moves, you can clearly tell that this person is not a joke. Rigadi Gashagwa is not someone you can underrate politically. I'm seeing Rigadi Gashagwa as someone who is taking over the Mount Kenya region politics by storm. Remember that they want Mainanjenga to be a competitor of Rigadi Gashagwa and especially on matters to do with the Mount Kenya region, Kingpin. But Rigadi Gashagwa made it very clear that he is not interested to become the Mount Kenya region Kingpin. Those who are interested, let them compete among themselves. But him personally, he is satisfied with the position that he is currently in as the Deputy President of the Republic of Kenya to assist William Ruto and to serve millions and billions of Kenyans. So basically what I'm trying to say here is that Uhuru Kenyatta and Raila Odinga will not allow, will not allow a situation whereby Rikati Kashagwa is taking over the politics of the larger Mount Kenya region. And finally, I strongly believe that the people who are pushing Mainanjenga's politics in the larger Mount Kenya region are actually on a mission to force Mainanjenga to be the Mount Kenya region kingpin. So basically, Mainanjenga here is actually a project. So let us wait and see if they will actually succeed. But in my considered opinion, I don't see Mainanjenga being the Mount Kenya region kingpin. Because people are rejecting him. Even his own cousin, they have told Maina Jenga to stay out of politics completely. So that is it, ladies and gentlemen. I don't know what to think. Let me also know your thoughts, your views, and your opinions in the comment section below. The question here is, who do you think is sponsoring Maina Jenga? What can you say about Maina Jenga's recent political activities in the larger Mount Kenya region? What can you say about Mungiki? Please don't forget to subscribe to this channel. Let me see you again in my next analysis. Bye-bye.